I think I'm already videoing. <laughs> All right, let's begin. What do you got going on? Tell everybody what you got going on. Just okay. been running some errands. How you doing? I'm fine. Good to see you again. Okay. And let's... now, hopefully, we'll figure out the illness of my car. What's it doing? It won't it crank. It won't crank. It won't start. It won't crank and it won't start. Right. You got the keys? I do. Let's see what you got. Yeah, you're going to have to open it with the keys because it's, it's dead. It's not electric. Oh, it's dead. The battery's dead on it. Yeah, it's a new battery in it, but. And the fob. It's just it's been uh, sitting a while. But, you know. All right, let's see what you got here, okay. Miss Lewis. Oh, well, the battery's completely dead for one, I believe. The lights aren't on, so let's get a jumper box on there. Okay. Take these clamps off real quick, and let's see if my meter will go beep, beep, beep. Hopefully it does. I don't think it will, though. Your battery is completely toasted. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's... Uh, it's not going to come back. So you're gonna have to get another battery more than likely, but I'm gonna get some jumper cables on it. Okay. And see if it'll crank up. All right, usually when batteries get that low, they're not coming back from the dead. Yeah. They're not, if, you, if I can't turn on my little meter with the voltage out of that battery, a volt, two volts, mm -hmm. it, it's more than likely it's not gonna come back. So at least you got a warranty on it. Where'd you get it? Mida. So all I need to do is get you started yeah. to get up to Midas. Mm -hmm. Let's work on that. That's okay. our that's our mission. Okay. You're not getting nothing, huh? I didn't think you was. It's hard to bring back a battery when they're fried cells. I'm gonna go get you a battery. Tell you what, why don't you call Midas? I'm gonna bring this battery to Midas. Okay? And we'll do it that way. See if they can, uh, just gotta set it up for me. All right, let's do that, guys. Uh, we'll see if we can grab, we'll see if we can grab a battery and then we'll come back here and we'll do uh, alternator tests and things like that, alternator tests. And make sure the clamps are tight. She should be okay, hopefully. We're gonna do some testing when we get back. If we can make this happen. Otherwise, I'm buying another battery for it. So before it died, before it died, you had to use your jumper box, you were telling me? Mm -hmm. And you used that quite a few times until yeah. it finally said, I, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not giving you no more. Exactly. It just totally died. So we need to check this like alternator. I mean, it would like, the things on the dashboards would light up, but it wouldn't crank over. It yeah, it didn't over. have enough, it didn't have enough juice to, mm -hmm. to kick it over. Yeah. I gotcha. We replaced, I replaced that alternator. Mm -hmm. You bought the, you bought it at AutoZone. AutoZone, yeah. Three years ago, you said? It's been about three years. Okay. So we'll, uh, yeah, we got to come back and we got to do some more testing and, uh, it's not the end. The battery is not the culprit. No, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Could be, but, yeah. you know, we'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, it's not over till it's over. Right. All right, guys, let's get to Midas. One of the tasks of a mobile mechanic. You know, you do things for, you do things for folks, man. Make things happen for them. And they appreciate it. It ain't like you're not getting paid, so go the extra mile for customers and they'll always call you back. Just have fun. Bottom line, just have fun out here. That's what I try to do. So we're gonna go to Midas down on the Ridgewood Road. Uh, they're real nice about it and they're gonna give us a battery. They order us a battery, it should be there by the time I get there. And we'll come on back and we'll uh, pop it in there and we'll do some testing, all right? Hey, I'm just leaving Midas and I'm looking at these guys sweating and, 
you know, moping around in the shop, you know, like, you know, because I'm a shop mechanic. And I'm like, you poor bastards. <laughs> I'm like, you poor bastards. And it sucked all the fun out of you. The, the shops then sucked all the fun out of it. Mobile mechanic is where it's at, y'all. You can get out here, you can cut up a little bit, you can do your job and, you know, save some people, contribute. Uh, end of the day and, and, and feel like you've, you've accomplished something, like you've you made a difference. Yeah, that's real stuff. It's real stuff. Man, they're just moping around uh, like Sasquatches in the shop. Man, I'm so glad those days are gone. Bring back nightmares. Now I'm a Goodyear and Firestone technician, mostly Goodyear. I've been in Goodyear. Uh, I've worked in Goodyear in California, San Diego rather, San Diego, uh, Illinois, St. Louis, and uh, Jacksonville, Florida. So I've been working for Goodyear a while. But anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you. That was just, it made me feel bad for them, those poor bastards. Sure, poor shop bastards. <laughs> poor, poor shop mechanics. I know I'm going to hear some shit about that. But come on with it. Come on with it. Pros and cons is what I want to hear. The pros and cons. Yeah. Comment below. Yeah, you probably had to do some work today. Huh? I said you probably had to work today. Yeah, they're dragging. Take care of all the paperwork and answer the phones and order stuff. Yeah, he's dragging today. Yeah. You see, some of his guys, I don't know if they quit or what. That's why I stopped taking my car up there because mm -hmm. I wasn't pleased. He has these little white guys up there, and I don't think they really know what they're doing. And so, I was taking my car there faithfully, and I just stopped, I stopped taking my car there. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They got a, their parking, their parking lot is full. Yeah, it's usually always a crowd. Yeah. So, yeah, they're just... They're walking around like zombies, mm -hmm. overworked, yeah. underpaid. Yeah. These poor bastards. <laughs> <laughs> used to be, they used to have these two black guys that were really good, and that was all who I would let work on my car. I would request, I can't remember guys' names, but yeah, I would request them to do my oil changes. Break out the old power probe. For you guys, this is my new power probe four. So, uh, yeah, you got to get a power probe. I got uh, several power probe threes. But this is the four right here. It does all kinds of stuff. Twelve point seven five. Okay, now it's gonna crank up. Now you got the keys. My friend, you want to crank it? Oh, you crank it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I give you the honor. <laughs> All right, you got another problem. What is that? Hold up. That's the fuel pump kicking on when I do it. All right, maybe you have a bad starter that would suck down the damn battery. Okay. So I got the key in the on position right now. Let's see if I can get to the starter. And I can, I can get to the starter really easy. Matter of fact, starter's gonna be right here on this one. This little skinny wire on the starter mm -hmm. is my, uh, 
is my start wire coming directly from the ignition switch. So I'm just gonna poke it. I got a good ground, it should start. All right, so your starter is good. You have another problem. It's okay. not a starter problem you're having. Okay. Uh, let, me, uh, let me shut it off. Let me put it in all the gears. Make sure it's not a, could be a neutral safety switch issue, right guys? Put it in neutral. Okay, I need you to get in the car for me. Okay. And I want you to turn the key. Okay. We're gonna do another test. Okay. All right, this is turning out to be a diagnostic. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, put a little, poke a little bitty hole in here. Try to start it for me. nothing all right good enough so just for you guys can see again 12 volts come from the ignition switch it goes into the starter and that is what cranks the starter so just like me doing right now i'm pushing the button giving it 12 volts all right for those of you who don't know all right so now we need to go find a relay maybe a start relay or a start fuse or something All right, I'm not getting any few any voltage out of that. So the voltage comes back. So I need to be looking at uh, I need to follow this circuit up a little bit and go to the ignition switch. The ignition switch is what gives you the initial voltage to your starter relay. So let's pop the, the starter relay out and we'll check if we have voltage on pin five when you try to crank the vehicle let's do it all right this is our starter relay guys it goes in like that and it's right there so empty spot and then start a relay st so that's it right there okay sorry about that so let's get in here. We should have at least two 12 volts. Turn the key in the on position. We should have two, two 12 volts coming out of here. Nothing there. We have 9.6 volts there, that's low. Our battery voltage is 12.7, so we have a little bit low voltage there. So we're missing voltage. Turn the key off. Turn it back on. So we're missing voltage to our relay. This is what's going on. It's coming out of pin number two. So that would be that lead right there coming from the neutral safety switch to there. So we're missing, we're missing voltage on number five. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So we're missing it from the ignition switch. You may have a bad ignition switch. Let's, uh, let's check. All right, here's the schematic, you guys. All right, here we go. So if we're looking for number five, Here's number five. That's the starter relay. We come on up and it goes to the ignition switch. It's gonna be a black and white wire. All right, so that's where our power comes from to power up the relay. We have a 12 volt at our AM2 fuse, which feeds the ignition switch. So we have a bad ignition switch or we got a problem and that black and white wire is the problem. So let me tear the dash up a little bit and uh, let me get to that black and white wire. I'm taking this apart and what do you guys see? What is that bunch of wires right there? That could be one of our issues. It might have a security system on it. She says she thinks she might have one on here. So let's finish taking this off. 10 millimeter right here in the corner. Phillips head on that side with the little door. 
Let me get it off. A little, they got little Phillips heads everywhere. <laughs> Hiding. You can't hide from me. What the hell are you thinking? Okay, that screw drop drop down there somewhere. I'll find it. So I want to try to get. Yeah, it's got a security system in it. That's probably her failure right there. It's got a security problem. So let me. Uh, I'm gonna pull this this steel bracket out of the way too. Let's get that gone. So we're looking for a black and white wire coming from the ignition switch. Uh, I can almost get to it. Yeah, I can get to it. If you look, if you look up in there, right there, you'll see a black and white wire. Uh, it's aftermarket crap. Let's check it. Guys, right, so I got my little pinch tool connected to the black and white wire. All right. So I'm going to pull that off. I should be able to plug up with my power probe right to there. Okay. So now you can see my voltage. So if this goes up to 12 volts, we know it's not an ignition switch problem. There it is, 12 volts. Let's do it again. Turning the key now. So your problem is that security system. So I'm taking it out. Okay, that's fine. Okay? All right. All right, guys, when you start disconnecting security systems, so you want to look for these little clips. You want to pull them off. All right, so if the wire is not the same from this side to that side, you're gonna have to find that wire and splice back into it. So I'm just gonna unplug everything I see and look on both sides of the wire, make sure they're red or blue or whatever, and start disconnecting stuff. Okay, that's all I'm doing right now. There's a yellow and black wire right there coming from that box right there. It does have 12 volts when I turn the key. So, but this wire is red and uh, white. So I'll have to find the other end of that black and yellow, splice that back together again. It should be right here. And it is black and yellow, black and yellow. I put those back together again and this thing is going to start. Let me show you. All right, guys, let's start cutting some stuff. If I can get a little bit of slack out of this thing, it would be nice. Otherwise, I have to make that, that wire longer. I should be okay. I should be okay like that. I need to get me some better crimpers. These are okay, but I want some better ones. holding that other wire with some needle nose. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up a little bit so I can get to the other side of the wire. It'll give me a little knife here in a second. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a little knife.
Okay, good. Okay. Go ahead and grab this. All right, guys, we got the yellow and black wire connected. I'm not worried about the rest of the stuff. This vehicle should start right now. Always something. I don't even know what I did with the relay. It's over here. Okay, put the relay back in there. I'm not checking voltages because I'm pretty damn sure it's going to start. Fire in the hole, baby. There it is. All right, guys, that's a wrap. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back together again. Blow the horn. Or she can come out. And uh, yeah, put it back together again. Guys, that's it. Hayes Bulb Auto Repair, Diagnostics 101. All right, I'm out. Peace. Do I hear my car Yes, you do. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woo, woo. You see? get my trash out of here my butt connectors and stuff and we still have to start it up and we're going to check the charging system while we're here we just don't put in batteries and say oh well put it in a battery so we're going to do check the charging system too complete auto service guys complete auto service 13.67 volts, you're good. Right. Do you know how many volts your battery has? Mm -hmm. 18 volts. No, this is a <laughs> no, this is a car. Most cars have 12 volt batteries. Oh, okay. So you have 13 volts in your battery, almost 14. Where is that other two volts coming from? It's coming from the alternator. Oh, okay. The alternator gives you an extra two volts to keep your battery charged up. I learned that. I remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. <laughs> All right, we out. Hayes Bubble Auto Repair. We're in Jackson, Mississippi. Peace.